Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Red Knight. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on, a timestamp that you can click on to take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. There's also one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and then we'll have some fun. And I think, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that. I like this, this attitude pose. Right? Let's stick this hand up. Let's, let's make this one of those defiant poses. One of those, those. Yeah, I'm the Red Knight. What are you going to do about it, punk? It's one of those kind of poses, you know? Uh, gesture drawing. That's, that's kind of the fun part of it, is uh, trying to trying to relay a thought idea or design with um, a pose or movement. That's, that's what gesture drawing is and that's what's so fun about it is we're kind of coming up with a whole story just in this one pose. Okay, I like that. Okay. Really good. All right, and so. Okay, this is turned out pretty quick, pretty easy. I just gotta make sure I am happy with it because I'm going a little too fast, a little, a little too cocky. Okay, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna put that there, gonna put that there. Gonna put this here, like that. And I gotta remember everything else. So, one oh, my picture's dark. I'll try to lighten this up so I can see better. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at basically um, uh, item shop pictures. And so I gotta go from there and kind of decide how to put characters in these poses using uh, the the images that just kind of show the character, you know? So she's not standing in this pose, is what I'm trying to say. And I've got to figure that out. Well, not figure that out, figure out how to make it look like she's standing in this pose just by looking at the details in the studio, the studio, the item shop. Okay, and so let's see, she's got, you know what I, th you know, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna draw the, the little, uh, 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 it's a shirt, but it's got like these, I, I'm just gonna say it, drippy hangings of, of this thing that hangs there. I don't know what that is. I, I know nothing about medieval uh, armor or or formal wear or armor armor wear. Uh, I just know what I know, and I know that those look like drippies. It's a drippy shirt. It's like, Ma, you see my drippy shirt? Well, did you wash it? No, it was dripping. Well, maybe you should wash it so it won't be dripping. All right. Okay, and this arm is going to be back behind her. And so, let's see, I'm going to put this glove here with that special glove communicator. And I can draw the other hand like this. I'm probably going to have to erase a lot of these lines. I'm going pretty thick with my, uh, with my pencil here. Like that, I think that'll work. Um, let's see, something about that was bugging me. That's what it is. No hips. I didn't draw any hips. Okay. 
So all that's left now then is we gotta draw the helmet. And you know what I don't have? Let me see if I got a, a good picture of the helmet. I don't have a nice close up. So I'm just gonna have to kind of guess at some of this stuff. But I'll make it work, don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. I think I want to do that in color. Okay. Is everybody ready? I think I am. Something like that. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's ready. Let's see if I can erase some of this without going too far. Okay, and it's leaving me a little bit of a ghost of an image that I can see my sketch and I'll make my own ghost with a special computer. Okay, that's good. I am ready to go. So it's, oops, that's a pencil, that's not a Sharpie. It's Sharpie time, it's Sharpie time. Gonna use a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Gonna use a fine point mostly, but the Sharpie pen just for tiny little details like the face, even though there's not much. I'm gonna do just a little bit of the eyes. Well, the, the, the eye slit. The, the actual colors of the eyes I'm gonna leave with for the coloring section. And I'm just gonna do this right here real quick. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do one of these. Kind of a brow, I guess, is what that would be. And I'm just going to kind of do that to the other side like that. So it kind of has like an almond eye shape, you know, a little bit. And yeah. Um, I'll do, I'll do, uh, I'm going to jump back and forth here. I'm going to switch back to the, the big Sharpie and get started with that. And then I'm going to do that little detail with the, the fine Sharpie in a second. Okay. So I'm going to do the top here. Let's see. How can I do this? I'm going to do the ears kind of like that. I'll go ahead and do them both and then come in here and do this top part like that. And then I'm going to bring the edge out like this to this and it's kind of going down a little bit so there kind of like that okay uh, before I go any further with that uh, I want to draw the detail but I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with the head and finish this off that way I can go ahead and just get it going right it's a little high I should have brought it down a little bit lower but that's okay Okay, so now what I want to do here is I'm going to draw just a little bit of that little detail in there just to give it a little bit of something and uh, the rest I want to do with color. Okay, like uh, there's, there's more on the head here. We'll go ahead and do a little bit like that just to give it something just to, you know, define it. And then there's this little edge that we'll do like that. One more like that. And then we might as well go ahead and do this one like that. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from that. I'm gonna finish up the body here. So now I'm gonna draw her uh, neck coming down into her body. And this arm is up, so that's why I kind of curved it because when you raise your arm, your shoulder comes up. So I'm gonna draw her um, backpack strap on the side over here. This one's going over there, but it's gonna go back behind her breast the way uh, I got her turned at an angle. So you're not gonna see the entire thing like you are over here. Over here, sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong things. So let's draw her, let's draw her waist down to her belt and that'll give us all the way back up to here to around her breast because the strap is gonna go back behind it. So I'm gonna draw the back of her rib cage to her hips to where the belt is gonna be. And so now I'll go ahead and just draw like that to where her, her waist is basically. Okay, so I'm gonna come back up here, gonna come up to her breast, gonna draw around it like that and come up and then I can draw the strap and make it disappear behind it like that. Does that make sense? Okay. And there is, like I said, there's a breastplate there. 
Uh, no offense, or no, 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 uh, no pun intended. I'm gonna call it a breastplate, but it is. It's because it covers your breasts. Okay, I'm gonna do up like that. I'm just using the smaller Sharpie just to kind of accent, and then uh, color will take care of the rest of that. So now I can draw her neck piece like this and uh, finish up the rest of it. So let's draw her arm, which is kind of up, and it's all chain mail, like a sort of thing, so we don't have to worry about much for, for uh, armor or anything like that. So I'm gonna draw her shoulder up to her bicep, to her um, forearm, and I'm gonna stop right there because she does have a little bit of a glove before her wrist starts. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this other side since we're here, down to the elbow. Gonna draw the underside of her arm like this and finish it off like that, okay? So, let's see, let's draw this hand, and I have it kind of, I got it kind of at a, at a, a fisty angle, like this. So, the nice thing is we're kind of getting away with not having to draw much, because we got it the backhand of her, you know? Like that. And, uh, let's see, we'll just draw like a little bit of the glove part, like that. So yeah, we're kind of getting away with drawing the back of her hand. There's her thumb kind of wrapped around, okay? There we go, perfect. All right, so let's draw her other hand just kind of dangling down because she's showing, she's showing off with this one. So here, it's back behind her body. So I'm gonna draw just the shoulder down to the, uh, what do you call it? The um, strap that she's got, like that, around her bicep which is gonna come down to her forearm. And I'm gonna stop there, because her forearm's gonna basically get cut off because of her glove that she has. And she has, like everybody else, like that weird wrist thing. I call it a weird wrist thing, because I don't know what it's for, and whatever's strange is scary and weird. I'm just kidding, I'm being silly. Okay, so we're gonna draw our hand hanging down, like this. There's her thumb, down to her finger, like that. And her other fingers are just kind of bent in, like that. Okay, and so, same thing. She's got uh, gloves on. So, let's see, does she have fingerless gloves? I can't tell, cannot tell. We'll worry about that when it comes time to color it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna draw her belt. Like that. We'll go ahead and add just a little bit of detail to it. Something like that. Over to, let's see, a little strap on her pants. We'll go ahead and close that off because it's not just hanging down like we used to draw when we were kids. It's actually a loop that's attached to the pants, right? Okay, so now I just gotta draw her uh, legs and then I'm gonna come back and do the little drippy draws, her droop, droopy drawers um, for the detail, okay? So I'm gonna come over here like this for a hip. I'm gonna come in a little bit where that strap is, out, in for the next one, then back out, and down to the knee, pull the pants out, connect them to where the, the boots are gonna be, and just kinda of do something like this. Okay, so since we're here, before I draw the other leg, I'll show you what I was doing. I was basically drawing the straps, holding her pants tight. And so that's why it's a little tighter right there. Okay? Um, heck, since we're here, let's go ahead and just do some uh, detail showing off that she's got uh, creases and folds in her pants, you know? Let's see. Something like that. All right, so let's just go ahead and draw this other one. Let's kiss, 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 kiss. I'm all over the place. Let's draw, oh, you know what? Let's finish up her leg. I'm, like I said, I'm everywhere, all over the place just because I'm so excited. But let's finish up her leg. Down to the boot, over like this. Oops, I'm gonna have to do something like that. Down to that edge. So I'm gonna have to give her the tread. Like that. And oops, washer. And I'll go ahead and draw just a little bit of detail in the boot, not much. 
Uh, usually I'll just do something like this and let the color take care of the uh, um, shoestrings. But uh, I like to at least add just a little bit of, of uh, creases and folds, you know? All right, there's one leg. Let's finish up the other. So the other one's going to come down here like this and going to bunge up right there where the knee pad is. And that knee pad is just a big square with another square in it like that. It's facing us, so that's all we're going to have to do. So I'm going to draw her pants like this. And then I can draw, I can finish up the, the flare I was doing there. I was adding just a, a bit of, of bunged up pants. I'm going crazy with it now. I need to stop. Look, I'm even coming out of the drawing. I'm going crazy. Okay, so there is a strap across the outside of the uh, shin guard and the leg. So I'm going to draw that first just so I can draw underneath it so to speak so basically by stopping and picking back up on the other side it'll look like it's underneath okay so now I'm just gonna redraw some more pants like this down to the boot which you can't really see because it's all back behind her now um, and just draw the top of the shoe so I'm gonna come down here do this like that come over here like this go back there like that and do one of these and draw some tread like that. Draw some detail for the boot just to give it something. And that's really about it. Um, there are a little bit of rivets over here like that. We'll just do that real fast. And you know what? I want to do the rest. No, no, I was wrong. I was just telling you I want to do the drippy drawers. So I gotta do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna draw two drips over here and then connect it right there. There, now I can take care of the rest with color. So that is the Red Knight. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.